your read is then as we move forward to 2021, 2022, how much pain will we see come from the Chinese? Um, and, and you know how much they publicly acknowledge one thing, but you know, um, you know, it's it's not just these things. Do you also have food issues as well? Right, right? They're, they're dependent on importing food mm-hmm. um, to feed their people. Um, so, how much more pain do you think China has in front of them? I, I think it's it's sizable, and and when we look at what's happening in on a political level, you know, you're seeing supply chains move out. And you're starting to see this pain in terms of just, you know, okay, well, where's the next investment coming from? You know, they've been trying to, to, uh, to cut, um, you know, as I harp on Twitter and, and the P and PVN, I always talk about the credit impulses and how they're trying to take money out of the system. They're trying to tighten things down and you're not, they're trying to get inflation under control, but the last two years they had these, these, these pockets of massive flooding and droughts. And now this year they're seeing massive droughts. So, when you look at these bumper crops that we're hoping for, we're just not going to see it this year. After seeing a very tough 2020, now we're going to have a very tough 21 into 22. And even though we talk about the one China policy and, and all these different things, they still have a massive populace that they have to feed. And they just don't have the capacity to feed themselves. So like you said, they have to come to the imp- the export market. So then you look at Brazil. Brazil has had massive droughts. And droughts don't only kill yield; they also kill the infrastructure and mm-hmm. the and mm-hmm. the supply chain. Because if you have a drought, well, then the river f- levels are going to fall. So then the barges can't be filled as high. So then you have right. to cut the barges, and then you increase rot, and you you just have this this exponential problem that continues to reverberate. And then you look into the global market; you're you're short ships. You know you can't get them because you don't have the sailors because of different restrictions. You you're slow steaming. You, you're then you get to the port and now you're sitting there for 20 days and, and you're worried about, well, is the stuff in my bar, uh, in the belly of the ship going to go bad? And now you're starting to see all of these implications that are just, ex, you know, creating this, this bottleneck, but that also leads to higher prices. Higher prices lead to pain on the consumer. Pain on the consumer means they're not going to spend as much because they're concerned about the future. And it just continues to, to, to cycle on itself. And we're just not seeing any real way to get ahead of that. 